and Kids Toys Play. Hey guys, welcome back to Kids Toys Play! Team Trackmaster versus Team Tommy. Extra Fast Thomas, Rusty, Edward Blue, Mighty Murdoch, Lady of the Rails, Bill, Diesel, Duck, Arthur, Excellent Emily, Toby, and Mavis. Team Trackmaster, Chocolate Covered Percy, Caitlin, Paxton, Stafford, Hank, Stanley, Ferdinand, Den, Renee's new coat of paint, Rosie, Porter, and Belle. We're on the Sodor Superstation for World's Strongest Engine. The winner gets the Thomas Minnie's Blind Day. First up, it is Toby versus Belle. On your marks, get set. So, and here we go, and it looks pretty evenly matched, but it looks like Toby is in the lead, and he is the first to come around. Bell coming around the corner now, and they will meet up. It looks like Bell getting very aggressive. I think she might turn the water cannons on, and that would be it for Toby. But here she goes. She's getting really aggressive. She's got him on the corner, folks. Bell loves being in this position. I think this is where she traditionally wins. Both engines, it looks like Toby is a little bit off track. Oh! Oh! Oh, what happened? Unbelievable. And Bell is right back where she was. Well fought by Toby, but ultimately it is Bell that will go on to the next round. Next up, Extra Fast Thomas will represent Team Tommy as Porter of the Docks takes on Trackmaster. On your marks. Get set. Go. Here they go. And who's the first on the court? It's Extra Fast Thomas representing Team Tommy. He's definitely coming on first. Porter, no slouch, but nothing. Oh, wow, look at this. Porter got aggressive, and Porter got up on top of Tom. Oh, what happened? It looked like Porter pushed over Thomas first. And what many consider to be an upset, Porter has taken out extra fast Thomas, probably the fastest engine on Sodor. Next up, it is Edward Blue, the slow and steady Eddie versus Rosie is pink. On your marks. Get set. Go. Oh, and these two engines are extremely small, slow, sorry. It looks like Rosie is pink, has a little bit of a lead. Edward Blue, can I ride with you or can I actually run? It would probably be faster. And here comes Rosie as they meet the two slowest engines. But here is Edward Blue, slow and steady Eddie, pushing as hard as he can up on Rosie. Rosie's tires have stopped completely. We might have to give her some new batteries. It looks like, folks, looks like Rosie. Oh, yeah, there we go. Rosie is just... She's all but giving up, folks. And she has been eliminated. Edward Blue gets the first win for Team Tommy as he eliminates Rosie. Next competition has Lady of the Rails going up against Renee's new coat of paint. And that new coat of paint is yellow, folks. On your marks. Get set. Go. And here we are, folks. And it looks like Renee's is slightly faster than Lady. The yellow engine. Coming around, I think maybe they might be evenly matched. As yes, as they reach halfway, it looks like Lady was a little bit more powerful. Very evenly matched. Look at those saddle tanks on Reneus. And oh wow, he has pushed up on Lady. They're both lifted up. It looks like there's a little bit of off keister there. Reneus pushing. What will happen? Will Reneus scratch his new coat of paint or will he take care of the gold dust and the magic of the railway? Oh, what happened there? <laughs> now they're going. That's not magic gold dust, folks. We can't trust it. Oh! Another win for Team Tommy as Lady breaks out the magic gold dust and stops Renee's engine. It looks like Day of the Diesels as Diesel himself will take on Den of the Diesel Works in what can only be considered a lot of Ds. On your marks. Get set. So! Who will come around first? And that is the tail of the tape. And it looks like it is Den of the Diesel Works. Moving slightly ahead, but Diesel is close behind him. It won't come up halfway point, and Den has a little bit of advantage. He gets underneath. He gets. He has the underhooks here on Diesel, but it looks like Diesel is being more aggressive and pushing Den right in his face. That it, Dart will not like that. Luckily, Den pretty much runs the Diesel work, so if there's any problems, he can fix it right away. Diesel getting very slowly aggressive. Oh, what's happening? Oh! The engines fell off at exactly the same time, but I think that Den pushed Diesel over first, so Den is going to go on to the next round. Next up, it is Bill of the Sonor China Clay Pits up against Ferdinand of Misty Island. On your marks. Get set. Go! Here we are, and they're pretty evenly matched as they come around when they come around. I think Bill might slightly be ahead. Sonor sort of China Clay Pits above Misty Island, and it is definite now. As here comes Ferdinand, and they will crash. 
Bandicoot and they will meet. And it looks pretty evenly matched. I think Bill might have a little bit of an advantage here. Oh wow, did Ferdinand stop altogether? That's hard to tell, guys. The sun's in my eyes. It looks like he has stopped altogether. Bill getting a little bit aggressive. Oh, there he starts again. How weird was that? And it looks like pushing it. Oh, Ferdinand. Unbelievable. Fought very hard, but it looks like Bill has eliminated him. That's right. Next up, Rusty the Narrow Gauge versus Big Ol' Hank, who's the biggest engine, but apparently with the smallest head when compared to Rusty. On your marks. Get set. Go. So we are. It looks like Hank has a little bit of a rush over Rusty. Rusty the Narrow Gauge engine with the biggest head. And here comes Hank. Big ol' Hank, and they're gonna meet up. Looks like Rusty actually ended up taking Hank out. And he is definitely pushing on here. Wow, Hank, you don't say, oh my goodness. Never let it be said that little engines can't do big things. A narrow gauge diesel, Rusty, has eliminated big ol' Hank. Next up, Murdoch, Mighty Murdoch, up against Welcome Stanley at the Great Discovery. On your marks, get set. Go. Off they go, and here we are, and Murdoch is so slow, but Oh, is he stalling? Did he go the wrong way? Yeah. Oh, Murdoch. Guys, we've changed the batteries in him so many times. I'm going to have to clean that motor or something. Murdoch. But here comes Stanley. Stanley definitely in the lead here. And he comes on and he hits Murdoch. Send him back to the main line. Wow, it look, looks like Murdoch has jackknifed, if you will, folks. Oh, wow. I don't think there's any recovery here. Yeah, I think that was it. And there goes Stanley. Murdoch does the best he can, folks, but it is Stanley. Unbelievable, great work, my friend. Next up, it is Mavis of the Far Car Quarry versus Stafford of the Electric Company. On your marks, get set, go! Looks like Stafford has a little bit of an advantage. It's on electric power, folks. It's the way of the future since 1917, and here comes Mavis. Oh, wow, she's got him tilted right up. She's getting very aggressive. Look at her pushing on Stafford. Poor Stafford has not much to do. He's getting pushed back. That's definitely the way it's going here. Oh wow, Mavis getting very aggressive. It looks like she's about to toss him over, but no! Well, Mavis fought hard, but Stafford fought smart and ended up winning in the end. Congratulations, Stafford. And welcome to the Sodor edition of Who Wore It Better as Emily dots off her green paint job and Paxton shows off his green paint job. Hooray. On your marks. Get set. Go! Put back it back on, quick! Quick, put it back on, put it back on, and here comes Emily! Emily, very getting pushed by her tender. Paxton finally catches up, and here they meet. Paxton had a little bit of trouble right off. He fall, fell off the rails. Luckily, the, he told the diesel works they didn't care. As Paxton is pushing on, and oh no! Wow, folks, Paxton, he, it's like he was on some kind of warped, wobbly tracks. He could not stay on the tracks. Emily goes on. Next up, it is Montague versus Caitlin or Duck versus Cat. I don't know if a duck would win that. On your marks, get set, go! Oh, Caitlin, oh no, let's get her back on track and on time. And here's Duck. Wow, both engines having a very difficult time. Duck, what's going on? He's just, ha he can't make it around the corners and that's not gonna be good, but here's Caitlin and she is pushing on Duck. Duck, unbelievable. We thought he was doing so good. Let's look at this, folks. Caitlin getting very aggressive now. Wow, she's pushed him right around the back. I think that's almost a disqualification. I don't know how Duck would ever recover from that. That's just embarrassing. Well, folks, Duck did it the Great Western way, and Caitlin won. Surprise, surprise. And the final battle of the first round has Arthur of Team Tommy up against Chocolate Covered Percy of Team Delicious. On your marks. Get set. Go! And here they are, who's gonna be on first? Looks very evenly matched, but looks like Arthur is in the lead as he told me off and does. He's coming around the corner when he comes. Chocolate cover first, he must have some sweet stuff, sweet sticky chocolate in his gears. Looks like Arthur is forced to fight on this and Percy has decided that he wants to stop his wheels, giving Arthur a very slight advantage. Oh, Percy fighting back now. Whoa, Arthur getting aggressive and there he goes and Arthur. Wow, goes around the Grand Tour, chocolate covered Percy, what happened? Well kids, chocolate might be delicious, but it doesn't make you a champion like Arthur, that's for sure. Sorry Percy. Unbelievably enough, in the second round, the teams are still even at six engines apiece. Team Tommy has 
Edward, Rusty, Lady, Bill, Arthur, and Emily still in the race as Stanley, Den, Stafford, Porter, Caitlin, and Bell continue on with Team Trackmaster. First up, it is Edward versus Stafford. On your marks. Get set. Go! They'll be coming around when they come. It looks like Edward slow again, but here comes Stafford. Comes around that corner beautifully. He is ready and poised to go. Is Edward off in the distance? This is not going to be good for him. I'm bro. <laughs> oh, Edward did not miss a beat. Congratulations, Edward. And that was just funny. Stafford, I don't even know what to say, my friend. Edward, good job. Next up, the ladies of Sodor do battle as Emily takes on Caitlin. On your marks. Get set. Go! And they're coming around. It looks like, oh no, Emily! She decided to take a hard turn into Tim and Chef. Let's get her back on track as a tender pushes her. But she has obviously been jealous of Caitlin before. And here comes Caitlin again. Ready to, oh no! Emily has a tough time staying on track and on time, but she still managed to beat Caitlin. I don't even know what to say about that. Next up, it's the bell of the ball up against old Squarehead himself, Rusty. On your marks. Get set. Go! And it looks like Bell is slightly ahead at this point, but we'll see if Rusty catches up. And I think he will as he comes out of the corners and they will meet about halfway mark and they are on it. And here goes Bell pushing and put, being pushed back. Rusty not doing as well as he thought he would. He is fighting very hard, but it looks like those water cannons are just all on Bell's side. And look at this now, he's got a little bit no! Bell fought very hard and very aggressively, but ultimately Rusty has eliminated her team, Tommy again. Next up, it is Lady of the Rails versus Stanley. On your marks, get set, go! And they are off, and it looks like Lady and Stanley pretty evenly matched. Here comes Lady of the Rails, I love that paintwork on her. The gold and the purple, will they meet about halfway Stanley slight advantage, but it doesn't much matter as Lady is pushing on him rather decidedly, but it looks like Lady is a little bit off, and it is! Good work on Stanley, Lady had a little bit of an advantage, but it didn't much matter, Stanley came through. And here we have Bill of the Sodor China Clay Pits up against Den of the Diesel Works. On your marks, get set, go! And here we are, and it looks like Bill is a little bit of a Head start on Dan as he is coming around the corner and he is definitely going down the Sodor, Sodor Superstation Speedway, as you will. And Dan has caught up to him and then immediately stopped. Bill is pushing hard and once they get around the corner, I don't know how good it's going to be for Dan and the Diesel Works. Oh wow, it looks like he is really being pushed over now. Bill of the Diesels. Oh! Well, congratulations. Dan did a very good job, but not as good as Bill, and Bill has eliminated him. Last race of the second round that shows Arthur of Team Tommy up against Porter of the Docks. On your marks. Get set. Go! And Porter seems to be a little bit slow. Arthur, the Tommy engine, coming around and doing very well. He's coming down the line. He will meet up with Porter. And immediately, Porter gets a little bit more aggressive. Wow, Porter now pushing. Maybe it's that sand that he's got. Oh no, I said that to you too. Now Arthur has decided that he is going to push back. And look at this, folks. Porter, not doing well. Arthur, one of Dad's favorites, has been eliminated. Congratulations, Porter of Team Trackmaster. Third round action has a lot rather one-sided battle as Team Tommy has four representatives versus Trackmasters too. First up, it is Porter versus Rusty. On your marks. Get set. Go! Porter seems to be doing a little bit faster. He just beat Arthur in a very close race, and now he is coming down the main line, goes over the halfway point, and meets up with Rusty. Rusty immediately starts pushing him, but we saw this with the Arthur battle that just transpired. And what's happening? It looks like Porter is now going over. No! Porter, who just eliminated Arthur the same way, has lost to Rusty. Next race has Stanley, the last of the track masters, up against Emily. On your marks. Get set. Go! Oh, does Emily need a hand? Yeah, she's going really slow now. Here comes Stanley, and he has a distinct advantage. I don't know, something happened. Emily, her wheels are turning, but she's just not pushing on this track. Stanley now definitely just pushes her over, and she somehow hangs on. I'm not even sure, like, how does this even happen, folks? Look at Stanley. 
Wow, Stanley got hit so hard he's splitting it too. And Team Trackmaster is eliminated with Stanley as Emily goes on to win. Final competition of this round has Bill up against Edward. On your marks, get set, go. And here comes Bill coming around. Edward is a little bit backtracked, so we'll follow Bill. Team Tommy has definitely won this competition. You can see Edward in the background as Bill comes in and they will meet. Come on, team, you can do it, oh, Bill, what's going on? Oh my goodness, I think that we're gonna call this for Bill because Edward has fought, but he is back at his starting point, so we're just gonna call this for Bill. Well, Edward fought and fought, but he made it back to his starting point, so we're gonna give it to Bill. And welcome to the final three, folks. Rusty, Emily, and Bill, all representing Team Tommy. They will fight until we have one clear winner. First up is Bill versus Rusty. On your marks, get set, go! Oh, here comes Bill. He's actually faster than Rusty. And he's coming around the corner when he comes. And Rusty's coming the other direction. They will meet and they will head, head on. It looks like Bill is pushing on. Oh, as soon as I say that, Rusty says, nope, I'm going to push back. Rusty pushing on Bill. Hopefully we'll have a clear winner here. World's Strongest Engine competition. Rusty pushing. Oh, and it's Rusty who has defeated Bill and then pulling off. Rusty has defeated Bill, meaning if he can defeat Emily, he will win. On your marks. Get set, go! And here they come around. Emily going very slowly. Here is Rusty coming around the corner when he comes and he is trucking on. Here's the Sodor Superstation in the background. Emily and him will collide and it is Rusty pushing Emily and he has defeated Emily, meaning that Rusty has won today's World's Strongest Engine on the Sodor Superstation. Congratulations to Rusty, the narrow gauge diesel number five with a big square head. You have won a Thomas and Friends Minis blind bag. Let's see what it, oh yeah. Who do you think's in there? Take a guess. Harold. You think Harold? Who do you yeah, think? I think it is. You think it's that one? Rainbow Rosie. Rainbow Rosie, I think it's uh, 75th anniversary edition somebody. Okay, let's open up and see what it is. Oh, who is it? Is that Rainbow Rosie? The summer 14 Charlie, he looks like a xylophone. Yeah. Welcome to the Island of Sodor musical Charlie with your xylophone awesomeness. Congratulations to Rusty, the world's strongest engine. 